Hi everyone, Doug here with ClickFunnels Mastery. Welcome to lesson one. I'm very excited to share with you guys my passion to teach ClickFunnels and I hope you get a lot out of this course. First off, I want to start off by introducing what ClickFunnels is. A lot of people starting out here might not even know what ClickFunnels is or what a sales funnel is, so I'm going to explain that in this video. And then I'm going to jump into the software and show you the entire platform. So maybe you're just starting out online and you know that you want to sell products online, collect leads, build a, a membership course, or whatever it is, ClickFunnels is going to help you, I promise you. Before I found ClickFunnels in my business, I had to hire a developer to build a website. I had so many different softwares I was paying to do all of this that ClickFunnels does all in one place. So it's pretty amazing, and I'm explaining what ClickFunnels is here in this video. You scroll down here, this is the home page. And basically, if you're trying to collect leads, maybe you're a realtor and you want to collect leads for your business, or maybe you have a product whether it's digital or physical that you want to sell online and take payments or maybe you want to run a webinar or sell a membership course you're going to be able to do it here with ClickFunnels. For example you have all this built into one place. You have your shopping cart software, email and messenger marketing, you have a place for your affiliate software, you could create amazing landing pages and sales funnels in minutes rather than knowing code or having to go to WordPress. It's just so easy to build using ClickFunnels. And I'm going to jump in and show you that shortly. And again, you could build membership sites. You could use uh, CRM, which is basically a customer follow-up system. And before I jump into the builder and show you how to use ClickFunnels, I first off want to jump over to my whiteboard and explain to you some principal fundamentals behind ClickFunnels and what it is. If you're trying to sell anything online, again, if you're trying to collect leads or sell products or just have a website, you know, the first step to digital marketing is traffic. So you're going to have your traffic source, whether it's search engine, maybe you're running some Google ads or doing email marketing, maybe you already have an email list that you want to send to a website or a landing page. Whatever it is, here's your traffic and what you want to do is send them to a web page. In this case, you could build the website with ClickFunnels, but it's more so referred to as a sales funnel, and I'll explain that in a moment. And it starts off with a simple landing page, maybe an opt-in page. And an opt-in page is just a simple web page that you want to collect an email address. So you've probably seen them before. They're offering you an ebook or a PDF, and you you need to put your email name or phone number in that to exchange for that value that you'd like to obtain. And this is a lot better than a website because let's say if you're collecting leads as a real estate agent. You don't want to send somebody to a huge website with tons of stuff going on. You're going to lose them. They're, they're busy in their lives. Maybe they're on their phone uh, looking on your, your website and they don't have time. They put it in their pocket and they never see you again. An opt-in page is going to collect their email address so now you could retarget emails or show them Facebook ads. It's just very powerful. Every business should be building an email list. Even if you're in the beginning stages and you don't have a business, I'd highly recommend you to start building some kind of lead magnet you could give to your audience that they'll exchange their name and phone number and email address, maybe just their name and email for that lead magnet, which is basically a PDF, an ebook, any kind of valuable thing that you can provide to them to receive their information. For example, you guys opted into this free course and now I have your name and email and I'm not going to spam you guys but I will be sending you some valuable information over the next few weeks and if you like that, great. If not, you could opt out but I want you guys to have as much information about this training as possible. Okay, so now you have an email address. What's next? And I'm going to show you guys a live example of this in a moment that I actually use ClickFunnels to build for my personal business. So I would bring them to an order page. So they've already micro committed. You have their email address. Let's try to sell them something. Usually here you want it to be something that doesn't cost a lot of money. It's a, something that you could offer to them for 10 to $20. So the commitment isn't that great because again, this is probably cold or warm traffic. They don't really know you that well. So selling them a high ticket offer isn't going to be that feasible right away. You want to nurture that lead through email campaigns and marketing and just get your content in their face until they know, like, and trust you. And one easy way to do that is with a simple offer. You can maybe have some video here uh, selling yourself or your product. Okay. 
And then after the order form page, this is where it gets exciting because this is why ClickFunnels is a lot different than your typical Wix or Weebly website or WordPress site. You could probably do similar things, but now you have a upsell page. So imagine that they order, they buy, and instead of bringing them to a thank you page or a confirmation page, you could actually put something else in front of them. Maybe it's something that's a little bit more costly, maybe $50 to $100 now. And they've already committed, they've already put all their information in so they don't have to retype it in. They just hit this one button here and it upsells them. So you could sell a higher ticket offer. And then after that, let's say if you wanna keep this going. If they're buying, you wanna keep them buying in a sales funnel. Maybe you wanna sell them or, or actually, you know what? Let's say they say no. Let's say you know, hundred dollars. I don't. I'm cool with this, but I don't want to spend hundred dollars on this. You could sell them a down sell, right? So let's bring them to a down sell page, which is basically going to be okay. This was a hundred dollars. How about three payments of thirty five dollars? So you're giving them a second option that's considered a down sell because it's going to cost less for them to take action. So they could either do that or not. At this point, I'd probably bring them to a thank you page, confirmation page. All right, and then on this thank you page, I usually recommend having some more information connecting to your social media. Maybe you have a Facebook group. You wanna get them to see more of your content so they could start to know, like, and trust you. Maybe you have a higher ticket item on your back end. Maybe you have a, a course or you do coaching. That's gonna be one way to monetize this long-term. Okay, so now that you guys understand what a sales funnel is, how it's different than a website, I just wanna show you a real life example of this in my business. This is a landing page for my debt relief and do-it-yourself credit repair financial planning workbook. So I created this in ClickFunnels, very easy to do. I'm gonna show you guys how to use the software in a moment, but you could create something like this very simply. And what it is, is exactly what it says. There's no more or less than what they need to know. And if they like this and they see this and this could help them, they're gonna click here and it's gonna ask for their email address. You know, this is something I was selling for $47. It's yours free, just click here. So when they click here, send my free workbook, it's gonna bring them to this page. And it basically says, email sent, check your email for your digital copy, or you could buy a hard copy. So now I took them from a free lead magnet to potentially earning them as a customer. And I sell this for $26. So if they buy this, I just earned a customer. If not, they could say no thank you. And the next page is a confirmation page, essentially inviting them to my Facebook group. Now in my Facebook group is really where I start to nurture this lead. I'm going to teach them about do-it-yourself credit repair. I'm going to teach them tricks to get out of debt, things that I've done in my life. And they're going to know my story, start to know, like, trust me, see me on video. And the ultimate goal of this is I have a do-it-yourself video course that teaches how to do this. So in that group, as they start to consume my content, they're eventually gonna hop on the webinar that I have that teaches this, and I created that webinar using ClickFunnels. I built my video course in ClickFunnels. The course you're watching right now is hosted in ClickFunnels. So if you guys have an awesome idea or something that you know could help people, you could use ClickFunnels to build something like this. So just to recap, the whole idea of online marketing is getting content, putting it out there, and driving traffic to a, a landing page or a sales funnel. And the first thing you want to do is collect that email address as soon as possible. Again, people are busy in this world. They see a ton of advertisements. They're probably going to jump off your website and you're going to lose them forever. So if you collect their email address, now you could retarget them on Facebook. You could send them emails and nurture that lead into a potential customer. The second thing is you want to offer them something low ticket, you know, something affordable, that they could try out your product or service or whatever you're offering, even maybe something free. And then what you do is you, when they do buy from you, you could actually send them to an upsell or a downsell and a thank you page. I've seen all types of different funnels. I'm sure you have too. If not, I'm glad at least you know now what a sales funnel is and you'll be able to recognize it next time you're in one. All right, so now that you understand what a sales funnel is, how it's different from a website, 
We're going to end this training here and I'm going to jump into the next training. Lesson two, we're going to give you a tour of the software and the platform and go over the main functionality of ClickFunnels.